to start off with primers and primers are right here yep so i've been really into a super matte skin but i need to switch it up because i know that i tend to use the same primers over and over again so should we try something new or should we not let's see we have i don't think i've ever used this on camera but this one is actually really good to perfect the skin and make it look super matte so i think i'm just going to use this one for today and then i will be sure to just really set the skin with a mattifying powder and a setting spray so there we have the primer now let's move on to the foundation which the foundation drawer is right over here I still have a few foundations in my other drawer, but I'm actually thinking of moving that IKEA drawer and putting it here and then maybe getting rid of this mirror and putting it in the um, guest room. But anyways, okay, foundation. We have quite a few and I don't know which one I want to use. I haven't used, let's see, I haven't used this one in what feels like a while. One of my favorite ones, Shein Foundation is matte. Really love that one. NYX Born to Glow. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've used this one in a minute. I actually don't think I've used this one on my channel for a while or this one. I know this one is super dark on me though. Hold it. Yeah, this one's dark. So I've heard that they're discontinuing this one and they have a new one. I'm gonna go to Walmart today and see if I can find the new foundation, but let's use this one since I haven't used that in quite some time. I also currently have my concealers in here. This one I didn't like, it's just very sheer in coverage. And then we have the Huda Beauty. Do you guys like this one? Let me know. Okay, let's use Huda since I don't think I've used her on my channel for quite some time after that. We're gonna move on back and go to powders. So this is where I currently have most of my setting powders. Let's see, right now the only powder that I'm using is the Haley's Retouch. That one is really nice. But let's give room to shine for others. This is the one that I've been using a lot. You know what? I don't think I've used the Laura Mercier translucent in the shade Honey. So let's use that one. Next, I have a few extra palettes in here. And I haven't gone through. Okay, so I don't think I've used this bronzing powder on my channel. This is pretty new, so I am going to... <laughs> use that for bronzing and then i think i'm going to use the beauty bakery milk and honey palette highlighter that one is really nice okay i think i'm just going to use the jacqueline cosmetics bronzing and blush duo and sun kiss and bronze moment so i'm going to put this one back for now and maybe we can try it a different time i think i actually did try it i have some more products up here but i don't see anything that's really like eye-catching to me so we're gonna move away from that and this one actually doesn't belong here so let me move that i love the struggles of long nails hold up so i have lashes here i'm going to leave that till the end but i am going to take my mascara just because i like to look at my look like the eye look and then i go from there the palette that i'm gonna use today is not in here I need these two, the Color Effects Mattifying Setting Powder or Setting Spray. Here I have, or this is the drawer where I keep all the new makeup that I need to try out. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a tutorial on the Juvia's palettes and you guys voted for this one. So, And I'm also going to be using these, the Green Tangerine Vita C Eye Gel Patch. I haven't tried these, so these are new as well. Now, let's get to filming. 
Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of skincare, I guess. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this Godal Green Tangerine Vita C Eye Gel Patch. I haven't used anything like this in, honestly, probably it's been a few years. I lost a little spatula. Oh, it's right here, I left it inside. But it comes with a little spatula. This was gifted to me by this brand. Oh, now it's all full of product. But this is supposed to be a five minutes eye gel patch and it contains really good ingredients like green tea, tangerine, and just really good antioxidants for the skin. Now this is supposed to give you instant hydration and radiance in five minutes. If you have dulled or dulled, dull or tired skin, this is supposed to just instantly wake you up and give you that I had eight hours of sleep look without actually having the eight hours of sleep look. Time to take them off. Oh my gosh, I put two. What a dummy. Okay, I'm gonna save that one because that one technically wasn't touching my skin. This one was. Oh, do you guys see how yummy my skin looks? All right, I'm just going to use the ring finger and I'm going to tap it into the skin. And whatever's left on the skin, I'm just going to blend it in. So I just had to wipe. I had to just wipe everything off because even though it felt really good, the patches on my eyes, it definitely doesn't work well with other products. So we're just going to kind of forget about that and just apply this primer. This one is really good at just making the skin look really soft and airbrushed, but I don't feel like it does nothing for my pores. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about that today. We're just having fun playing with... Makeup. So for the foundation, I chose C24 Hour Foundation by Maybelline. This is in the shade 312. I know that this isn't going to be my shade. It's definitely too dark. And I'm just going to blend that with this sponge by Kelki Professionals. This is so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Concealer and for oh, for that, what did I pick? I think what I'm gonna do next for my next um, shop my sash is I'm gonna let you guys shop my sash. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you guys can participate on that. But I'm just gonna take the shade cookie dough. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Honey Setting Powder to just bake underneath the eyes. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. I'm trying not to use as much product because I'm more than likely just going to take some pictures of my makeup and then take it off and just chill for the rest of the night or maybe go to sleep early. I don't know. I should really go to sleep early, but oh, I have a bad habit of getting on my phone. Now I'm going to go in and just bronze up the skin using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer. You'll need to let me know what is your favorite like bubblegum, baby doll, Barbie, pink. I saw one from e.l.f. and I was going to buy it and then I didn't because I ended up not buying anything from Ulta a few days ago and I hate when I check, check out with like just one or two items. Is that me? Just being bougie? <laughs> So I was like, eh, maybe another time when I come in, like, actually buy some more makeup. I'm going to take the blush, and I'm just going to use the same brush. I really like the formula on these bronzers. I was so tempted to get her new collection, her summer collection, but then I saw the shades, and I was like, hmm. Not here for that. I'm gonna take a mix of Spoiler Alert and Be Sweet. And I'm gonna pop that into the cheekbones. I think I wanna do a Target haul pretty soon. I've seen some new makeup. And Beauty Bakery is at Target. I know that that's not new, but I personally had not seen any. And so now that it is there, I'm like, oh, I need to go pick up some new items, take you guys shopping with me. On Saturday, we went out as a family and we just did a whole bunch of fun stuff and I played 
with one of the Juvia's palettes because I was just too curious and oh my goodness the quality in these you guys is so good now with this palette you don't get like deeper shades but I don't want to use another palette I just want to stick with the one you guys voted for this one so we're gonna stick with that I'm gonna start off by taking the shade right here it's just like a deeper aqua blue and I'm going to pat that into the outer part of the eye. Then I'm also going to drag it to the lower lash line. I'm going to switch brushes to something a little bit more tapered. And I'm going to go in with that really pretty minty color. And this one is going to go right in here oh my goodness that is pigmented and beautiful being totally opened with you guys i did not feel like filming today i think that's why i'm filming so late was because i don't know i was just like in a funk today i didn't want to film i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to clean i didn't want to cook it was just one of those days if you guys are a mom have you ever felt like this because I almost feel guilty feeling like this. I feel like my my duty as a mom is to always be on top of my crap, you know? And today, I just felt sluggish. I didn't feel like I had energy to do anything. And I just, I don't know what I did with my time, honestly. So here I am now filming super late, which is fine. But I don't like it when I get into these ruts. I'm going to just kind of lightly cut the crease I just want to clean up the lid a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of the shades from the palette and I'm first going to go in with the lighter shade and then the other shade is going to go towards the end finishing off the look with some mascara this look is so pretty it's such a summer look though look it's very very vibrant even though the shades are not as deep but they're very colorful i'm gonna take the Michaela glam light lashes these look really pretty so we're gonna pop these on these lashes are actually super cute i had not used them since i got this palette for the lips i'm gonna take the secret matte lipstick by milani yes i did do a review and swatches on these new Milani lipsticks and they are amazing. I really like them. Okay, you guys, I think the look is complete. Thank you so much for shopping my stash with me. I love filming these videos. I'm sorry if my energy was a little off today. Like I said, didn't have the best beginning of the day, but tomorrow is a new day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, what videos you guys want to see next. And if you recreate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram at omglashes so I can repost you on my stories. I love you all. Stay safe, stay blessed. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.